welcome to my channel and to another Dollar Tree haul. Or should I say another dollar and a quarter tree haul? <laughs> I always forget that it's gone up till I go in there. Now, this is a pretty boring haul. So you might say, well, then why are you bringing us a boring haul? Well, I did find a couple things that are new and a couple things that I hadn't seen. Like this one thing I hadn't seen in ages so i thought why not i'll just show you what i bought the first thing they're just laying right here are these two um easter cards for the grandbabies ever since sebastian was born i started him out with a birth letter just a letter about him being born and every holiday every visit he gets a card or some kind of letter Sometimes I put pictures in it, like for Halloween, I put a picture of, like, if he was here, and I, I got to get a picture of him in his costume, put Christmas pictures, stuff like that. And so then I started one for Jacob, too. What hit me, I I wrote in, because Sebastian's five, so he's, he's got a pretty, his box is pretty full, um, like I'm sitting up here on top of my shelf. Everything I wrote was in cursive, and I was watching something, or I read something somewhere. It was talking about kids, they don't teach kids cursive. So what, what are they going to read? Are they going to know how to read in cursive? So that hit me. I'm like, what if he can't read what I wrote him because they have not taught him cursive? So at that point, I started printing everything. I don't print, well, I don't write in cursive well. I, I write like chicken scratch. But so I, I started printing everything because I don't know. And when it gets time for RJ to give it to him, I don't know if he'll be able to read it or not. Anyway, I went ahead and got their Easter cards while I was there. Let's see. No particular order. This is the only thing I got in the, like, office supply section is this correction tape. Listen, I use a lot. <laughs> I use a lot of this on my menu. What I have now is the big. And it's really good, but I'll take what I can get if I'm going to run out. Now, I'm going to look at the house room section, I guess. I got some, these are plastic bowls for Sebastian because we just have so many bowls and we keep running out between the three of us, which I know I can wash them, but <laughs> grits and stuff like that that gets stuck on there, I like to stick them in the dishwasher. So for his macaronis and cheese and stuff like that, I just thought I'd get some some bowls these i had not seen before i know what magic erasers are but this is five sheets so there's five little thin ones in there i'm going to use these in my bathtub if you have soap scum problem mine comes from david's soap his coast soap it sticks to the walls of that tub like oh my gosh like glue I have the hardest time getting it off, and I can't lean over, and I can't get on my knees. It is ter <laughs> it's terrible, but these magic erasers will clean that film off of your tub. So if you have the same problem with that, and it's always bar soap. I do not have that problem with any of my, um, which, I mean, we both use the shower. But I know it's his because I bought bar soap and it just added to the problem. So I know it's his bar soap. It's just, um, I guess it's just harsher. What it's made from is they got to have something in it to hold it together, right? So anyway, I thought that was pretty cool, five of those. And I have to pick me up when I get there some of my favorite kitchen sponges because I use them for so long. I'll run one through the dishwasher while I use another one and do that until I think they're done. And then I replace them. So I go through quite a bit of these. And I'm just about out of the little bags. The, is this the kitchen? I don't know. If this can't be the kitchen size. It's just four gallon size. And they're lemon scented, but you can't really smell it. I really wanted the white, but they're hard to find. These bags are hard to find. They're out of them a lot. I have some of the bigger ones, but I did need the little ones. So I got those. And I needed another kitchen scrubby brush because I trade them out too. So I, I use one for stuff that's not really bad dirty. And I have one for stuff that's like really bad. And then when the one that's not really bad gets bad, I push or the one that's really bad gets bad, I push this one over and then put a new one over there. 
I rotate my sponge brushes like I do my sponges. Now, in the food section, I had never seen this before. It's called Leapin' Leopard Chicken Bouillon Powder. I just needed some on my, um, was going to put it on my shopping list. And when I saw this, it reminded me I forgot to put it on my shopping list. I don't think I bought any. I don't recall. If I did, then I got extra. But it was only a dollar. And it says it makes 30 cups. So... I figured I'll give that a try. I keep mine in the big Nor um, container, so I'm just going to refill that. And then I got three of these. I really want some more of that ranch that I found at Walmart, but I don't plan on going to Walmart anytime soon. So I just got the plain tuna in water. It's only 80 calories, and the sodium is not bad. Um, 210 grams of sodium, so I don't think that's too bad. Since I ate that ranch flavored one, I'm thinking, well, maybe I can start eating tuna again. So, wild caught light tuna in water. These were completely new. Now, I don't drink sparkling water. Don't like it. Ain't found one yet that I liked. So, ask me why I bought these. Don't know. But I do know because it's the word Jelly Belly that got me. Jelly Belly sparkling water. This is watermelon. orange sherbet and berry cherry so i will take one sip and if i don't like them they will go down the sink <laughs> then i got this little bitty listen if i get a whole big mix of nuts it'll take us a year to eat them because we only eat a half ounce at a time so this is three and a half ounces so it's two four six seven servings that i'll put in my little cups I think y'all saw it on one of my What I Eat videos. So I thought that might be a little, something different than just the plain almonds that I have over here. And then I found Sebastian. This is what I went for. The only thing I went for was macaroni and cheese for Sebastian because he wanted some today. Thought I had some. Nope. He ate the only one I had day before yesterday. I didn't buy any at the store because I thought I had some sitting over here. This is like my overflow room. There's, there's food over there. On, on the shelf <laughs> they didn't rj said he likes this cheetos kind so i knew they had it at the dollar tree and that's what i went for the other food things this is i hadn't seen for ages this is 100 percent juice no sugar added now, i don't know what kind of juice it is it shows orange it says orange tangerine so it, it probably has apple juice or whatever else in it but this is what I used to carry in my pocketbook. This little size. I used to have my little, I caught, hold on, David's phone. The absolute 100,000 million trillion most aggravatingest phone ring of all times. <laughs> it's that blasted 69 Camaro with that cam thing, whatever he talks about. Y'all heard it on so many videos. Gets on my last nerve with this over here charging. <sighs> I was talking about these. I used to keep what I called my little blood sugar kit in my pocketbook because I used to go out and about a whole lot more and I needed to have it. I had one of these. I had some little Slim Jims because you know how little they are now. I had a, a Jif to go. I had me a little spoon in there and like whatever else I could find something that when my blood sugar dropped, it would help me pick it back up. And these little juices come in handy so since we don't keep juice on hand and when I'm at home and I have one of those sinking spells I'm gonna put it right up here in this closet because they'll just be there for an emergency have me a spoonful of peanut butter banana and a juice I'll be good to go listen I remember one time I'm gonna tell y'all this I remember one time I was somewhere up in China Grove I can't remember what I was doing, and my blood sugar started dropping, and I thought I was going to pass out. I was shaking. I made it to the food line. I went inside. I bought a jar of peanut butter, a banana, and a thing of orange juice, because that's what always works for me. Barely made it to my car, sat out there, didn't have a spoon or nothing, just scooped in with my fingers with that peanut butter. I mean, I was literally shaking just like that. And I sit there in that car until it passed. I, I almost passed out. It was so bad. 
I think that's the worst it's ever been. But those are the three things that always help me. So, oh, let's go back. I just got two more things. This was a dollar. So that's not bad for a dollar. I wanted these to match, but they didn't. When David's mom passed, we got two peace lilies. One's in a small container, which this is a good size up for it. Oh, my Lord of mercy. It's in vultures I was telling y'all about on my way in. Colin trying to get that property. That's 100% what it is. The only person that ever calls him is his sister. And that is very rare. <laughs> She's already called him today. All the rest of that, that's what it is. Anyway, both of those peace lilies are root bound. They, they, they are so root bound. You, you put water in it, it runs straight out. I had to put, I got, matter of fact, I got the big one in the sink right now. I had to set it in the sink. Get the sprayer, spray it down real, real good, let it sit there and drain, then put it back over on its thing, and then it'll perk back up. This one I found, check this out. That's a good size. That was in their plus section for $3. That wasn't but $3. So that's going to be a good um, size up for the, the big one. So that was all I wanted to show you today. Like I told you, it's kind of uh, nothing exciting, but I don't know. This might intrigue some of you that like sparkling water. <laughs> I don't know of anything else that's super exciting. Uh, anyway, so, well, that's all I know today. I don't know when I'll see you next, but see you when I see you.